PalmTech Complete makes creating and editing templates easy. This is done in a template editor, which you can access by clicking or tapping templates from the navigation when you're logged in to your PalmTech account. Here, we can see a list of all of our current templates. We can choose to edit an existing template or we can add a new one. There are no limit to how many templates you can have. And when creating a new template, you can start from scratch or base it on an existing template. For this video, we'll be making a couple of edits to the existing home template. To edit it, we'll click or tap on the edit icon under actions. When we click on it, this message pops up that lets us know we'll be editing an existing template and all of our changes will be saved as a draft until we tell it to save and publish it. Let's click on OK. We're now looking at our template. We can see a list of all the categories in the template. And if we click on one, so we'll click on grounds, it opens it up so we can see all the lines in the grounds category. And then if we click on a line, so we'll click on driveway, we can see all of our details for that line. And if we wanted to close it, we would simply click on this arrow here. Above this category list, we have an icon, which we can click or tap on to pull up the template's properties. And over here to the right, we can see the template's status as well as the template's ratings, which we can easily edit. So at this point, we now know how to navigate the template editor. Let's start making some changes. There are four basic changes you'll be making. First, we'll be adding new items in that we need. Second, we'll be deleting items out that we don't need. Third, we'll be renaming existing items to better fit your wording preferences. And then fourth, we'll change the order of items so that they match your preferred inspection flow. Let's go ahead and make a few of these changes together. The first change we'll look at is how to rearrange the order. So let's say we wanted to move electrical to be above structure. To change the order, all we have to do is click or tap and hold on this icon to the left. And then we simply move it where we want. And as you can see, it simply slots it and then once you get it where you want, you let go. You need to now change the order. And rearranging the order of lines works the exact same way. Now, let's say we want to change the name of a category. We'll say that we want to change garage slash carport to be called just garage. To do this, we'll click on these three dots to the right and we'll click on rename. When we do that, it gives us the ability to make our changes. So we'll change it so it just says garage. Renaming a line works the exact same way. Deleting a line or a category is easy as well. So let's say we want to delete out the basement category. We simply click on the three dots we did for renaming and we actually have the option to delete. So I would select delete. When we do this, we'll see that basement has been removed. And once again, deleting a line works the same way. To add in a new category, you scroll to the bottom and then we'll click on the Add Category button. Here I can choose to duplicate an existing category and start with everything in there or we can select Blank Category and then click on Add. At the bottom, we now have our category, which we can rename. And we'll say we're adding in a category for pool, so that's what we'll name it. To add a line to a category, we simply open the category. And in this case, we'll open the pool category we just added in since it's blank. And at the bottom of every category, you have a button for add line. So we'll click on add line and it adds a brand new line in. The first thing we want to do after we add a line in is give it a name. So in this case, we will call this fencing. So we'll simply type that in and we've now added our first line. Let's go ahead and open up our new line and add in some descriptions and some comments. And to do this, we just come here to edit list. And I can simply edit the ones that are already here. Or if I don't need any, I can always delete them out just by hitting this delete icon like that. In this case, though, we do we want to add in five descriptions. Since we already have one here, we'll go ahead and rename it. We'll just call it wood. And our first one's in. To add in another one, we'll simply click on Add Choice. 
and we'll rename this one as well. I'll go ahead and add in the rest. Great. We have all our descriptions here, and now we'll come down here and we'll add in our comments. Once again, we simply click on the Add Comments button, and it adds our first comment in. For the comment, we can click on this arrow here to see the full details for it. And we have the ability to add in a title as well as a detailed explanation. We can also assign a default rating to it as well as a default location and even an informational photo. So if every time we come across this issue or this finding, if we wanted to have a photo be associated with it to help the homeowner or provide additional information, we can set that up right here. I'm going to go ahead and fill out the information for this comment. Great. Our comment's been added in of missing for the title, no pool fencing present, and we've automatically assigned the safety rating to it. Our first comment is done, and I'll go ahead and add in the rest. Great. Our new line is now added in, complete with descriptions and comments. And that's all you need to know on how to edit your templates. You simply follow those same simple procedures we just covered and make those as many times as you need to complete your template. There are no limit to how many edits you can make. And once you're finished, we just simply come over here and we see we have an option for save and publish. If this was set up with everything I needed, I would simply click on that and this template would then be available for use.